Hey guys, what's up? I'm Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a really amazing looking logo reveal using trap code particular in After Effects. Of course, you can use your logo in this logo reveal, but in case you guys want to learn how this logo was created and if you guys want to use this logo then make sure to check out Mark from Gigantic YouTube channel where he will show you guys the complete process of creating this logo in Adobe Illustrator. So without any further ado, let's get straight into After Effects and get started. Alright guys, here we are in After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition. I'm gonna just rename this to main. 1920 into 1080 30 frames looks good 10 seconds should be good enough and hit ok so the first thing that i'm going to do is create a new solid so hit ctrl y to create a new solid and let's rename this to bg for background and let's duplicate it by hitting ctrl d on the keyboard and let's rename this to particles and one more thing that i need to do is put this logo into a composition so let's create one more composition for our logo so we can replace it anytime so let's rename this to logo hit ok and let's drop the logo into the logo comp let's scale this down a bit to maybe 60 percent looks good and i'm going to add some really nice color to this so let's add a ramp and of course you can you know use your colors you don't need to exactly follow the colors that i'm using i'm going to make it kind of a golden look you can say so something like a yellow and for this I'm gonna go with something like a really nice orange maybe a bit darker one something like so okay let's go into the main composition and let's drag in the logo comp into the main composition just like so and let's hide this for the moment we don't need to see it and also make sure to make it 3d let's select the particles layer and let's add trap code particular to this there we go we get some really simple particle stimulation let's go into the emitter and let's change the emitter type from point to layer and in the layer section or layer emitter section I'm gonna select layer to our logo comp so now basically it's gonna emit particles from our logo composition so if I increase the particles count to let's say maybe something like 12,000 you can see the particles are getting emitted through our logo pretty cool let's go into the velocity and let's bring this down to 70 and that's all we need to do in the emitter section let's close this up and let's go into the particle section I'm gonna set the particle size to 0 and the feather to 0 let's go into the aux system and this is where the magic happens let's set the emitter type to continuous and I can see we have some particles emitting through our logo which looks pretty ugly for the moment so let's pretty quickly make this look really really good so the first thing that we need to do is increase the particles per second count up to maybe let's go with something like 100 and let's set the particle life to 1 and for the particle feather I'm gonna set this to 0 and for the size I'm gonna go with maybe 2 so this is looking pretty cool now what I'm gonna do is let's go to two seconds and create a keyframe on the life per second just like that and go one frame forward by hitting page down and let's set this to zero so that our particles stop emitting after two seconds and we have something like this pretty cool let's go ahead in the physics section and let's go into the air section and the turbulence field I'm gonna increase the effect position all the way to 50 so we get kind of a you know organic looking particles as you can see and for the wind Y I'm gonna set this to minus 100 cause we want the particles to go upwards just like so as you can see looking pretty cool let's you can also play around with the spin amplitude if you want to to create a really you know different look you can keep it really high to get a really crazy look but for now i'm gonna just set this to zero and everything else i'm gonna just leave it at zero maybe i'll bring down the scale a bit to five okay pretty good let's go again in the aux system and now what i'm gonna do is let's increase the inherent main velocity to maybe something like 20 
or maybe a bit high just like so and then uh, maybe i'll just leave it at zero actually and let's increase the particles velocity to 20. and now we get this really cool look as you can see pretty interesting so let's go to two seconds actually and duplicate the logo composition hit control d to duplicate it and let's you know turn on the visibility so now we have something like that and let's hit t to bring down the opacity create a key create a keyframe go back in time and let's set this to zero so now we have something like that now let's go into the particle section again and let's go into the you know the opacity i'm going to set this to 50 actually it's already at 50 so i'm just going to leave it at 50 and let's go into the set color option let's set the color to over life and let's go into the color over life and i'm going to select this preset that is the white and black and for the white i'm going to go with a nice yellow color just like we did before for the logo color and for this one that is a black one i'm going to go with an orange color just like so so now we have something like that as you can see it looks pretty cool maybe i'll increase the particles a bit more so let's go into the emitter and maybe i'll just bring this up a bit something like that maybe 15,000 pretty good and let's go into the aux system again you can play around with the different properties that we have you can you know play around with the live randomness if you want to to get a different look but i'm going to keep it at 10 maybe just to give a little bit of randomness if we can also increase the particle velocity or maybe i'll just decrease this to 10 i think let's see what we have yeah, this is looking much better. Maybe 15 or something. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Let's increase the, you know, um, the particles per second or life per second to 200. Something like that. So we get a much dense looking particles as you can see. Looking pretty good. And pretty quickly, I'm going to actually go into the color section. That is the color over life. And I'm going to make the orange a bit darker just like so that looks pretty good and let's pretty quickly add a glow to this maybe increase this glow threshold and increase the glow radius to 300 be nice and increase the glow threshold just like so and as you can see now our animation is looking a bit more better looking really really cool see let's go into the logo and i'm going to play around with the color a bit maybe i'll make it a bit bright orange let's bring this down a bit just like so there we go looking pretty nice and for the background i'll add an optical flare just to make it look more interesting so hit control y to create a new solid and let's rename this to of for optical players and let's set the blending mode to screen and let's add optical flare to this let's go into options clear all and we just need the glow so i'm just going to use this glow hit ok and i'm going to place it around there and let's go with a really nice orange tint something like that and let's add a bit of noise to this just to make it look more realistic maybe one percent that should do the thing and you can also always switch to 16-bit pixels just to get some really nice colors you know and to avoid the color bendings actually so there we have a really cool looking logo reveal and as you can see it's really simple and easy to create and one more thing that i would like to show you guys is you can always you know create a new camera and as everything is 3D, you can, you know, play around with the camera angles to, you know, make it look more interesting, you know. Maybe I'll just zoom in a little bit or maybe too much, I'll say, you know, just to get a different kind of look. And always play around with the depth of field, which is already on. So, you know, just to play around with them with some settings, make it look really, really interesting.
zoom in a bit and I get a really nice look as you can see something like that and that is the you know cool part about using 3d is you can create some really cool and interesting looking camera angles play around with depth of field a bit maybe 600 or something just to get that really you know good look i think this is looking pretty good yep so you can use this camera angle as well as you can see looks pretty interesting in itself and um, I hope you guys get the idea behind creating this really cool looking logo reveal. So yep, as you can see it's really simple and really easy to create. So that is a wrap for today guys. I hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was make sure to subscribe, comment and like and I will see you guys in my next video and also if you guys are interested in my personal life then make sure to check out my vlogging channel life looks like it will be a great help if you guys subscribe to the channel. And yeah, with that said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, take care. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And don't forget to stay raw, stay creative.